What's up guys, you're watching TOJ, I'm your host Rico Suave, and let's talk about mystical. Mystical is uh, formally charged with first degree rape, again. Um, he just faced like, the, and let me rephrase, he just did six years in jail. Let me, let me look at his notes, man, I got my iPad right here, and let me see, yeah, he did, he did six years. He did six years in prison for sexual battery and extortion, and he forced a female employee to tape herself and engaged in sex acts. Now, the reason Mystical is being, let me rephrase, he's not arrested yet. Now, he may have to turn himself in. What I don't like about this article or this particular rape case is that the way they have it set up is three people being arrested. Mystical, this one guy who named, it's a man, but I can't pronounce this motherfucker name. Let me, I may try to, y'all bear with me for a second. Let me see this, what the fuck this dude name is. This, you think I'm making this shit up? This is, this motherfucker name is, uh, let me see. Avermore, hold up. Aver, ooh. you think I'm joking? I'm trying to get this shit so y'all can see it right. What Mystical. Weird ass at. Here we go. What's this other person's name? It's Mystical. I'm trying to get y'all to see it. Anyway, it's Mystical and somebody that's 26 years old named Aver One Holman. This is fucking retarded, y'all. I'm sorry. This person's name is spelled A V E R. I got Aver right. Then there's a W. Then E O. N E must be African because Aver Want Wione Holman. Anyway, they charged with one count of first degree murder. Bond was set at two million dollars each. Dude, that's fucked up. Let me tell you something. They got more than one reason why the bond is set high because you you were talking about Shreveport, Louisiana. This the last time Mystical was in Mystical was in jail. Um, charge. It was in Baton Rouge. This is like when um, I think like Master P was living here, and all the New Orleans rappers was living here. And we have a really big issue with like the Louisiana rappers have some fucking like issues, man. Like, let me turn this shit off. I live in I live in New Orleans. I remember like we just got a rapper just got killed named Young BT Twin or BT01, like something. And they got it was a rapping beef, mind you. The dude just got killed, young man on airline highway, like literally ten minutes from my house. This dude got killed over like a girl, over like an internet beef, before he even got signed to a major label. Fortunately, my dude D One, D One is normal, sweet little guy. He got a little dreadlock, keep, keep to himself, very approachable. And I guess because he don't curse, or you know, he one of those guys like like the Will Smith. For God forgive me, for, God forgive me for saying that. But he's like the Will Smith. He's like a positive rapper. So, like, all that party and bullshit is not, you know, it, it don't follow him. So, but I mean, but Juvenile. Juvenile just got arrested for, like, having uh, $150,000 in child support. He, he got that issue. You got, you know, cash money records. And uh, all the shit that goes on, you know, with the cash money, you know, click or whatever. So... With Louisiana, it's just like, it's weird, man. We got some talent. It's so much fucking talent from here. But it's like everybody from New Orleans have this kind of really weird self-destructive thing that comes with the notoriety and the fame of being a rapper. And um, you look at Master P Brother, C Murder. C Murder been in jail for almost, shit, damn it, 15 to 20 years. And it's a slight chance he may have, he may have actually been like the fall guy for somebody else because the witness... It was like the witness sister said that he did. Because obviously the guy was dead, so a dead man can't talk. But they took the witness sister word over C. Murder. And C. Murder is doing life in jail in Angola prison. And that's Master P. Brother. Your brother worth like $500 million and you stuck in jail. So, you know, but, but it's weird, you know, that, that Mystical is put in this situation again. The reason there's also a $2 million bond is because Mystical just did time for sexual assault so you have unfortunately where in the um court of uh, public opinion you kind of got a guy who kind of unfortunately got a reputation for having you know a, a sexual bad you know a, a history as, as, as a sex a sex offender so to speak so that would 
increase the bond. But the reason the bond was increased that high, because like I said, this is Louisiana. We are the fucking prison capital of the entire country. Mississippi ain't got shit on us. And more importantly, you talking about redneck ass Shreveport. I'm from Opelousas, Louisiana. Shreveport, I think, is like four hours up north. So they even crazier. Like Shreveport is basically Arkansas. Um. So yeah, you, you're looking at you know a really fucked up situation with um these celebrities and these guys like not taking no for an answer from women. You know, you look at Darren Sharper, who was a New Orleans Saint. Darren Sharper just pled guilty to like putting Molly or some shit. You know, putting um. The, the date rape drug and girls um, drinks and fucking while they're sleeping. Him and a second guy from Chalmette. And um, it, it's just that, you know, what's disheartening about this particular case is that Mystical still has to be processed and charged. He's charged with first degree rape. But remember, Mystical has not been arrested for rape. And he ain't been convicted for rape. Remember that. And he's when, and when he will be processed and fingerprinted, he will be held on a $2 million bond. Like that Bobby Schmurder shit. So Mystical, unfortunately, may not even get out of jail. And I remember when Mystical's sister passed away, and he did a whole tribute to his sister. So, you know, he... It's like, you know, we have a soft, a soft spot for Mystical down here in New Orleans. But looking at the report that I just read on my iPad, what made this case worse is the female who's being charged with accessory after the fact. She tried to get the lady who claimed that Mystical and the second guy, whose name I couldn't pronounce earlier, they raped her in a casino, or either they raped, because mind you, they're not giving you any, any of the details. I don't like when they do that shit. I really don't. I don't mind you not letting the accuser's name out in public, but all the details are being held close to the vest. I don't like sneaking shit like that. We have a fucked up history here in New Orleans of prosecutors doing heinous shit to niggas out here. There was a prosecutor on his deathbed. This motherfucker had the nerve to wait till he had like literally a week a week to live. And he found this old black man who got an Angola. And this is a fucked up case. Because the old black man died like a week after he did. God forgive me. These niggas died a week apart. The man held back evidence. That could have got this man exonerated. And I may check into that. And do a video on this dude. Now you got, now, none of you guys got me talking about it. Because I don't think the family went after any damages. And also here in Louisiana. Oh you're going to love this. You can't sue the state. Of Louisiana. For being wrongfully accused. Because the state. Followed a certain legal process. And that unfortunately, by default, you was found guilty. So even if you go to jail and spend 20 years in jail, for example, they, they can't give you a million bucks per year. They can't do that. Not in Louisiana. So they we, we got a fucked up system down here. So I, I really think Mr. Cook going to get um, railroaded and the book thrown at him. And especially if he can't afford Johnny Cochran. I mean, you know what I'm saying? He can't afford one, you know, like a dream team. Um, defense because even Darren Sharper being a, a filthy rich ex football player, he afforded he had a woman attorney and he still got but mind you for him to, to cop a plea, they had to have a preponderance of the evidence that he was guilty of something. Uh, also, in this particular case, Mystical is somewhere else, the victim is somewhere else because, uh, according to what I read, it took place in September of last year in 2016. So they've been scraping evidence for a long time to make sure they had enough of a paper trail from text messages, email, um, Facebook posts, stuff like that. So I really think this time they may kind of sort of have something, but as far as them having like DNA evidence and all of that, they're not letting us know that. So I'll keep you guys posted, but that's the news, man. Mystical is formally charged with first degree rape, man. Um, hit like, share, subscribe. I want to hear you guys' opinions in the comment section below. Anyway, um, share my videos with apes, alligators, coons, possums, sunflower seeds, gym blossoms, haters, and perpetrators. Till next time, peace.